So when the beavers, when the beaver was living down here, which what is now Lively Preserve, and there was a lot of talk about it on the neighborhood listserv and the local newspapers, and especially among neighbors who really felt like it was not a humane thing to do to the beaver what no. they wanted to do, and so grassroots rose up and organized and said, let's let's bring some attention to this issue. Let's have fun doing it, right? We didn't really have any idea other than a one-off beaver, you know, faux pageant. With a karaoke um, machine. machine of <laughs> and, you know, maybe 50 people out in the park. So it started small. There wasn't any fundraising. No, no. no. It was just fun and to raise awareness. Mm -hmm. And then the next year, people said, are you going to do that again? That was fun. And we did. So we did. <laughs> And one of the contestants, her father went up to the judges and said, hey, if I give you all the money in my pocket, will you vote for my daughter? And at the end of the night, we either had $27 or $57, I don't remember. <laughs> but um, we're like, what are we gonna do with it? And we decided to give it to the um, Equa. So we called ourselves the Beaver Lodge, um, gave that money as the Beaver Lodge to Equa, and then it happened again, and it just kept happening again and again. And now we have this huge pageant, but really the most important thing is we have this preserve here. We now have circled back mm -hmm. to this piece of land. You know, the genesis of the Beaver Queen pageant has now circled back to this new acquisition, and that's so exciting. It's like, really, the beaver was right. <laughs> <laughs> Beavers are always right. right. Beavers always. are always Beavers right. Are always Follow right. the beaver, <laughs> you know?